I'm going to reveal how you guys can find promising products to sell on Amazon with the help of a really smart tool called Helium 10. So let's get started. This is an Amazon FBA tutorial and we're going to pay special attention to product research. Now guys, the fundamentals of Amazon FBA are pretty simple. In theory, everything sounds effortless. All you have to do is find a promising undervalued product that you can buy from a cheap supplier and most people turn to AliExpress or Alibaba in order to complete that then you're gonna list it on amazon and sell it for a profit you're gonna take into account the shipping expenses and the advertising expenses as well and you can keep a solid profit margin if you do the math correctly of course and if you manage to find a promising product not any product can be sold on amazon for a profit and now at its core the amazon fb business model is very similar to drop shipping but there is one major difference or there are a couple more on that later. For now, let's just take a look at what we can do using Helium 10. You see guys, what most Amazon sellers do is they head over to AliExpress or Alibaba and they start researching. They basically start looking for some really cheap items that could be turned into something promising. They've got a great potential, right? But instead of just heading over to these websites and searching for random items and then just hoping, we can have some systems in place that will help us be more efficient. We don't have to do everything manually. There are automated tools out there that will help us out and one of them, you guessed it, is Helium 10. And there's something else apart from that as well. Not only are we wasting time, but we don't really know whether or not the products we choose from AliExpress or Alibaba are actually worth something. And we cannot play around. When it comes to dropshipping, there is no cost. You can pick any product on AliExpress, list it on your e-commerce store on Shopify, and then you can just wait. If you're right about it, you're going to start generating some sales. But when it comes to Amazon FBA, you cannot play around because you need to make an up for an investment. You see, Amazon FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. You're going to let these guys pick, pack, and ship your orders and list your items on their website as well. By the way, Amazon gets visited by 2.4 billion people on a monthly basis. So, that is quite impressive, isn't it? We are literally getting all of the traffic we need organically, but it is up to us to make sure that we are using it efficiently. Here's how it works in a nutshell. When it comes to dropshipping, you can just download some pictures off of AliExpress, paste them onto your own website, and then wait. Whenever you get an order, you're gonna connect the supplier, which is AliExpress, with your customer. You're gonna send them your customer's details, they will ship the item straight over to your client, and you don't even have to handle it. And that way you can keep a solid profit margin. But when it comes to Amazon, you actually do need to have an inventory. You do need to purchase multiple items ahead of time, in advance. And if you're not efficient about it, you will end up having a lot of leftover inventory that you cannot sell. What are you going to do with those leftover items? Just keep them? That is a huge waste of your time and of your capital. And we cannot afford that, especially if you're just starting out. For that reason, product research is the key. So guys, what can we do using Helium 10? Let's not get sidetracked here. Well, there are a bunch of different ways you can make use of it. One thing you could do is head over to the products section, then you can pick a category and that ranges from appliances to baby items, beauty and personal care, you name it, they got it. At the end of the day, we're talking about Amazon, which is the biggest seller on earth, so they're gonna have everything. Then you can enter the monthly revenue generated by other Amazon sellers who are currently selling that item. You can also add the price, a review count might also be relevant. You can also add the review rating and depending on all of your criteria, this tool is going to filter the results. If you don't have any previous experience when it comes to selling items online, you do not really know which category you should go for. And for that reason, the keyword section is gonna be way more useful. Here's what I mean. What you can do is enter a monthly search volume and I would go for a minimum of 30,000 and I would simply keep the maximum field empty. Then you can also add a monthly revenue. Again, you want to go for at least $5,000. Now, at this point, you can add some other advanced filters as well, but let's not get sidetracked. For now, let's just go with the basics. So let's search for it. And based on our selected criteria, this black box that Helium 10 provides is going to display a bunch of different categories. And that's the thing about it. It is literally going to display some potentially profitable niches that you can double down on. We're talking about a GPS tracker, a screen door. There are all sorts of unexpected items here that could end up being profitable. We're even talking about sleeping masks. These items can get quite random sometimes, but other Amazon sellers are making a lot of money selling them, so we might as well replicate their results. Let's just pick one of these categories. What about the sleeping mask? Well, as you can see, on average, people are selling it for $15 on Amazon. And these items typically get about 10,000 sales on a monthly basis, which amounts to $140,000. Now, that is quite impressive. 
for such a random item. And guys, you want to pay special attention to the review section because that will tell you whether or not there is room for new sellers or not. Here's what I mean. There are over 14,000 reviews for this particular item. In comparison, when it comes to the wrist brace, there are only 8,000, which means that this niche is far less saturated. The competition is not as high. And so your chances of standing out from the crowd and generating sales are much, much higher. Ideally, you want to go for a product that generates a lot of revenue, but doesn't have all that many reviews. It is a fairly new one, such as this food massager. Again, guys, these items can get quite random, but that is the beauty of it. You can find a random item that nobody has ever heard of and turn it into a bestseller. And let me be crystal clear. Product research is fundamental when it comes to Amazon FBA. Let's just say that you pick a random item that you do not really know anything about. You don't know whether or not other people are making money with it. You don't know whether or not the competition is high or low. The way Amazon FBA works is that you will have to purchase, let's say, 100 items in advance. That is an investment of a few thousand dollars or a few tens of thousands of dollars, right? So you cannot afford to spend that kind of money unless you know that that particular product is proven to work and you will eventually sell out your inventory. And there are going to be a bunch of different ways that you can make use of Helium 10. For instance, you can start researching your competitors and you can model what they are doing and improve upon it. Or you can just go for the niche section that will allow you to specifically target a certain niche and start researching product belonging to that category. Or you can take advantage of their so-called product targeting feature. But if you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of previous experience, you're just looking to learn more about Amazon FBA, I would rather use the keywords section. As you could see, it basically provides you with some very specific niches that you can focus on, right? But guys, there's something else you can do. If we take a look at these best-selling categories here, we're going to notice that most of these are perfect for impulsive purchases. Here's what I mean. A sleeping mask, a food massager, battery-operated lights, or party supplies. These are things that people would purchase without a second thought, just because they like the particular item and because the price is really attractive. If you take a look at the price range here, it's going to be somewhere between $15 all the way up to $30. And that is true for most of these. And if you want to find some more of these really attractive, really catchy items that hook people, what you can do is head over to TikTok and search for TikTok made me buy it. This is a particular hashtag that I think is a gold mine. These are just perfect items to sell on Amazon. <laughs> They're already generating millions of views on TikTok, which means that people absolutely love them. And just imagine for a second, you're scrolling through your for you page or whatever it's called and you stumble upon this item you're gonna watch that video because it's really attractive it's really engaging and if you really like the item there is a pretty solid chance you will also head over to amazon and search for it such as these led lights right here this video alone got over 50 million views and that just goes to show that tiktok is a great place to find undervalued items what you can do is take some time watch some of these popular videos and then find an item that you can sell on amazon once that is out of the way, you can do some further research by making use of Helian 10 in order to make sure the competition is not too high and there is still room for new sellers. And at the end of the day, that's the only thing you have to do when it comes to Amazon FBA. Find a good product. That's it. Everything else is covered by Amazon. Just take a look here. Businesses send products to Amazon fulfillment centers and when a customer makes a purchase, they will pick, pack, and ship the order and they can even provide customer service and process refunds for those orders if needed and if you think about it for a second i genuinely think that amazon fba is drop shipping on steroids it basically solves each and every single issue each and every single drawback that drop shipping would have for instance if you want to create your own e-commerce store and outsource the products from aliexpress or alibaba what you're gonna find out is that the delivery times generally speaking are way too long and that is going to decrease customer satisfaction. You'll get a lot of negative reviews. Let's just think about it for a second. You order an item from a random website on the internet and it takes 14 days for that seller to ship the item to your door. It is an insanely long amount of time. And people from the United States are not willing to wait for that long. Especially when Amazon delivers the items in a couple of days or so. They've even got same day delivery. And for that reason, purchasing the items and shipping them to Amazon's fulfillment center first is a great upgrade. Moving on, you're gonna take advantage of one of the most efficient shipping systems on earth, and that is without having to pay anything. You will just give them a commission, and the only investment you will need to make would be purchasing those items up front. Now, of course, if you wanna take it to the next level, you can sponsor your listings on Amazon and make them stand out even further. And at some point, you're gonna have to do that if you really want to take it to the next level. But until that point, all you gotta do is find a good product and give it a try. 
Now, I do not personally think that Amazon FBA is something that you can do after watching one single YouTube video. You might need to dive deeper into the subject, but I absolutely love the business model. And I also suggest that you learn more about it because it's worth it. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.